On a remote road in Colorado, about an hour from my house, you can take a left turn to another left turn to yet another left turn into some pretty rough roads. And if you're lucky, one might find a herd of bighorn sheep, symbol of the mighty Rocky Mountains. All right, good afternoon. Uh, Exciting stuff about to happen right now. Just over this little horizon line right here is an entire herd of bighorn sheep. And I found them yesterday and we had some really nice light yesterday. Um, and I got a couple really nice shots. Um, so I decided to come back out today, try to get a little bit more. Um, it's really overcast right now, so not the awesome light that we had yesterday, but it's still super nice out. And, uh, and we're gonna go see what we can find. So for my gear setup today to get these shots, I'm using the, uh, the Sony A9 II and attached to that is my Sigma 150 uh, 600 DG DNS. So that's my, that's kind of my landscape wildlife kit right there. Yesterday I was using the Sony A7R 4 which was pretty good, did a good job. Um, but I think the, the autofocus is uh, significantly better in the A9 II and should yield us even better results than what we got yesterday, which were pretty darn good. So anyhow, uh, let's get in the truck and we'll move down to where the bighorns are and uh, see what we can see, get, get a few shots. Okay, so, uh, so the bighorn are just over this rise over here and they know I'm here, uh, which is fine, um, but they're, they're pretty far off the road, which is, is uh, uh, kind of challenging and I'll tell you why it might seem a little bit surprising but uh <clears throat> but when you're in the car um, you can get really close to wildlife whether it's elk or bighorn sheep um, you, you can just kind of drive right up to them real slow and and get shots which is kind of amazing but when you leave the car and you're on foot they became they are much more skittish and anyhow, that's, that's where we're at today. So um, I'm kind of going to have to leave the road and hike out a little bit. Um, but I won't be able to get that close. So I'm going to get be pretty far away from them. And uh, we'll, just, we'll just see how it goes. Hopefully we get a couple shots. front lit right now but like I mentioned earlier they're gonna get used to me really quick and they are they're just head down they're actually moving towards me which is kind of funny but they're just grazing away they are not concerned here are a few of my favorite shots from my time with the bighorns a few key things be sure to use a long lens like the Sigma 150 600 DGDN like I did for all these shots this will give you the lens reach you need to keep a safe distance away from the bighorns. Have your camera set up and ready to shoot so you never miss any of the action. Have your autofocus in servo or continuous mode and be sure to have animal IAF turned on if your camera has it. Be in a high frame rate, like 8 frames per second or even more if you can. Shoot in RAW format so you get the best image quality possible and also have the most latitude when post-processing. Be 
in full manual for total control of your exposure. Have your ISO set as low as it can be while maintaining a high shutter speed of at least 1 500th of a second and preferably higher. Thanks so much for watching this wildlife short. Please be sure to follow and leave any questions or comments below. Thanks again.